morning from Arizona. Cheers. This is the second Arizona vlog. I have a Sedona vlog already up. I was just there for about a week. If you're new here, my name's Taylor. I work remote and travel. By the way, I just put on this SPF going in. I think I'm gonna mix these two foundations today because my shade is kind of like in between right now and I haven't tried mixing these yet. But I'm really excited because I'm actually meeting up with my parents in Parker who are RVing. My family has an RV. They do a lot of RV trips, usually like every couple months. And I've never been able to meet up with them yet, like as they're on an RV trip. So it just worked out where I booked Sedona and then I didn't even realize they were gonna be in Arizona. They already had this campsite booked. So for the week, we're all staying in this little town called Cottonwood. They're staying at the campground. And then I'm staying in this little motel. Ooh. Too dark, gotta mix. But it's gonna be really fun because we're gonna be able to go on hikes together, cook at the campsite, give you guys an RV tour. And I'm also just like really curious how this all works because I would love to eventually do the RV thing. I think that would be so fun, whether it's an RV or a travel van, whatever. I love camping and I love traveling and I love being outdoors. So that's like the perfect combo to me. So I'm just curious like how it all works because obviously I've seen the RV when it's like parked at their house, but I've never seen it in action and just like learning how all of that works. Probably just could have gone in with the next one. My dad loves being in the vlog, so I'm sure he's already prepping his debut moment to show his RV. They're driving up from Phoenix. They've been like camping along the way. They stayed in Fountain Hills, I think. And the cutest boy ever, Parker, is here, which I'm so excited for. I tried to get ahead-ish on work so that I hopefully won't have to work a ton while I'm with them because I just want to spend time with them. After I see them this week, then I'm going to Phoenix for about a week and then I fly out of there to another country. So Phoenix, I do have time to like chill and get work done and pre-film, but I definitely need to get like everything edited before I leave abroad. That was not a good combo. <laughs> I highly recommend Sedona as like a weekend trip. I mean, it could be fun as like a bachelorette trip, just anything, literally anything. I think anyone would get something out of it. It's just so freaking pretty. And also in the snow, next level. Good hiking. I think we are gonna go back into Sedona a couple of the days to maybe do a hike. I really wanna go and see the sunset at this like famous viewpoint that I didn't get around to seeing when I was there. So I think we're definitely gonna do that. This is the Flower Beauty Concealer. I will have another Speed Reviews come in, set number two. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Blush in the shade Pillow Talk. I love the formula of these. The Pillow Talk so far isn't my favorite shade. It's like a little mauve but I'm also curious if any of you guys are single females doing the van life thing. I do feel like it was probably one of those things that would be much more fun with someone. So I don't think this is gonna be like an immediate thing I do, but I would love to have like remodel one. It's in the cards for the future. RV tour. We just pulled into the campsite. Now we're gonna level it. Now, pushing a button called auto level. It's gonna what app it. is this, EQ? Yeah, it's gonna level the whole RV without, there we go. I wanted to thank Thrive Market for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. Some of my favorite snacks ever I get from Thrive Market and I have some good new ones to show you guys. But if you've never heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership based market. I've been a paying customer of theirs for years now and you have two different membership options that you can choose between. If you wanna be billed annually, that breaks down to about $5 a month or you can do monthly billed at $12 a month. 
Whether you just despise going into the grocery store, which I also do, I always get food delivered, or if you just want to get some better prices on stuff with inflation and just the prices in grocery stores right now, it can get really expensive. Thrive has a section on their website called deals, and they also just added like a reward section on there, I noticed, where you can actually like stack coupons on top of those deals. So I actually got some extra money off on top of that. I'm gonna put the amount that I saved just off this one order here. But the basics, like olive oil, I got coffee this time. This one's a Colombian blend from Thrive Market. You can also sort by lifestyle. So if you have a specific diet or lifestyle that you follow, there's a bunch of different options on there. Orders over $49 ship free, and they do have an intro offer for you guys. You can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift valued up to $60 with the link down below in the description box. And their free gifts are actually good, like they're good ones. These, if you're placing a Thrive Market order, try these. I am so excited about this find. I bought one bag before to try them and then I killed those and I've been telling my dad about them and he has been talking about these for the last three days waiting for this order to come in. But this is how many bags I got of these. This is one of my favorite pretzel brands now. I discovered them on Thrive Market. It's the Quinn brand and I'm trying the peanut butter filled ones this time. By being gluten-free, I feel like they're extra crispy. Okay, this I wanted to repurchase because my mom's been getting nauseous. I think she's allergic to some kind of food, but she had a couple of these that I had. I had like two left over and it actually helped her. It's the Ginger Rescue Chewable Ginger Tablets. Broccoli Bites, stuff that could be interesting. Ceremonial grade matcha, got a really good price on the matcha. I really like the Thrive Vodka Sauce, so got one of those. This is a repurchase too, the Soak Paint Away. These are magnesium flakes for the bath. I've been taking baths almost every day. I've been trying to, because I do feel like it helps my body a little bit. So repurchase these. These aren't scented. This is a always favorite, always repurchase on Thrive, the Poppy Root Beer. So these are prebiotic sodas, and I think the root beer flavor is the best. Oh, I actually got one more thing. This um, CBD soothing bath bomb. So this is CBD infused, but it also has eucalyptus, lavender, rosemary, and mint. Ooh, yeah, smells very rosemary-y. I'll have the link for Thrive Market down below where you can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift up to $60. So that's linked down below. What's the chef preparing? The chef is preparing grilled ham and Swiss cheese on sourdough. So you prep everything right here or do you use the living room thing too? No, I only Necessary, cool, you have like a sun view in oh, here. Sky oh, yeah. Do you ever see, do you ever shower and there's like stars? Can you see stars? Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, Here's Parky. <laughs> Excuse me. You little camping boy, you look so pretty. Tucker loves the RV. He's like so chill because he likes everyone in close quarters. Here's their shower slash storage when they're driving. Wow, there's even a full length mirror. See it over, over the toilet? The cabin opened it up. That's where all my makeup is. Oh, this is her makeup from the bottom. Oh, cute little makeup bags in there. And you have good natural lighting right there. <laughs> of course can, hey, do you want us to leave this afternoon? Maybe you'll film in here? Yeah, I would love to film in here. I'd love to live in here. Yeah. Is this um, in I'm the will? I'm going to make myself my <laughs> own little diet drink. So watch with me. Here comes. <laughs> You're <laughs> such an actor. <laughs> There's no volume. Here I am gonna make myself a little lunch uh, diet coke. Wait, so I thought I'm, you were giving me a fridge tour. I am. Okay. So I'm pushing the buttons. Here's the freezer. Perfectly arranged. Oh my gosh. Arranged liquor, healthy drinks, orange juice, coffee, everything. There's enough food for three weeks, but we've filled up every week. So figure <laughs> that out. Then a week later we're buying food. What happens? These, fold These are down. lounge chairs. They rotate and then they extend out almost the whole way. Then this table goes up and there's a little snack table underneath it mm -hmm. when the chairs are rotated. Then the chairs flip down, table goes up, and that's almost a king size bed that comes out of the wall and folds down to right here. We'll do a live show later. Can't wait. For my fans. Here's Parker's bed where he sleeps when they're driving. They really. Um, prioritize the chair space in here. Oh, look at this. There's thing. like, these are massive. You can't even tell on camera how big these chairs are. There she are is, you? and there's the big dog, and this is Taylor <laughs> how do I in put the chair. Thing up? Uh, um, then we'll go through and show you some more compartments. Up here is the control panel. Gauges tells us what level and what our water tank and our propane. Hold it steady. <laughs> I put the S in steady, girl. I love doing videos for the internet. I didn't do my hair today. I would have done a little more. The fridge runs on gas. What do you have to use the generator for? 
running the microwave. Just which is has, called dry camping? Yes, that's, and then that runs like 12 volts, so like I, all little inside lights. But to run a microwave, you need 115 volts. So on the side of the RV built in is a propane powered generator. Is Watch the generator it, just turned off and then this should automatically oh, switch Might to take gas. a minute. I'll close it and then we'll show it in the clear switch to the propane because there's no generator running. Beep, so Taylor, beep. no, you sit here. I'll Rob. stand on. No. You good? Yeah. Okay. Wow, Rob. She's good. Oh, you're having ravioli? Yeah, you want a bite? No, it's okay. Okay, so I just got a full rundown on what powers what, but one thing, if you have a leisure travel van, that's what it's called, right? The manufacturers can't tell you to do this because that part of the car is Mercedes, and then leisure is the one who attaches all this stuff, so they don't want to mess with the warranty. But what you can do... To your solar controller, take it apart and bring a wire down like right here, and that goes to my car battery. So my solar batteries keep my car batteries charged when I'm not using the RV because there's constant drain on the car battery when it's being parked. It's called phantom drain. Free Mercedes has it. So now the solar batteries can charge your car batteries. So if and you have one of these, the wire batteries it. batteries inside the back, the coach. Too. Yeah. So if you just get an RV, here's just a few tips on how you use different entities that run your different things. So if you're cooking with your stove, use propane and there's a propane tank under the RV that propane tank also will power the refrigerator power the heater hot water oh yeah there's an instant hot water tank that runs by propane also and it powers the generator which provides 115 volt electricity to run appliances like your microwave or your hair dryer how do you heat the shower from propane oh, okay. anything runs a propane other than the generator you don't need the okay cut <laughs> so yeah, it's not good. Yeah. I'll insert a chart again. here. You only need to use the generator when you want 115 volts. When and that not, is, of course, yeah. when you're not plugged in to a campground. At a campground when you're plugged in, which are called hookups, you have a plug that brings you 115 volts, so you don't need your generator ever then. I've got my makeshift <laughs> neck ice pack, but the campsites, what do they range from usually, Mom? Like, what's the average, would you say? 20 with no hookups to like 85 at the beach in California with hookups. 85 is expensive. That's like basically a hotel. Yeah, that's real expensive. What is but this one? 40, you said? I guess it's 30, 35 maybe. 35 or 40? Yeah. What's your job, Parker? I need to watch a doggy. Get yourself happy in the RV. God, seriously? <laughs> I'll sit in it. <laughs> I know, I kept saying You're smaller your, than I am. I kept so. saying You can recline and look right out the window. Yeah, this is See, this is great. Have I you mean, ever had a view where you're like looking out at like water, something crazy? A lake. Yeah. Everything. Oh, We've had towns, views. lakes, other people's RVs. <laughs> Lantern. This is the solar charger or you can plug it in USB. Somebody at one down. of the campgrounds had it and we're like, wow, that's cool. Dry. It can flicker like a candle. Whoa, that's really all solar low. powered? Yeah, like if it's cloudy or whatever, there's a USB charger too. Oh, cool. So even so. if you're just camping, you don't have an RV, that would be oh, really it's cool. Oh, it'd be great just to have for, even for, I think they're Emergencies, about, yeah. Yeah, and we got it now on Amazon. It's so cute at night when it, because it's really dark in the cab here. This is actually just a Wi-Fi hotspot, not even just yeah, a booster. Yeah, hotspot. And booster. who told you about that? Uh, this one right here. <laughs> actually, you guys told me about this because when I was in uh, Edinburgh, someone mentioned this to check out. But yeah. it's not fast enough to upload videos, but it is good as just like a normal Emails, hotspot if you need one. I'll link it down below. Airport Mesa overlook you just drive up i thought there was a little hike you can hike around here but i mean we're literally just walking to the viewpoint but just a heads up bring cash because it's three dollars to park <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and do a toast. Any anniversaries or birthdays on board? Right here. 
Birthday? All right, so we got a birthday. So not only to the anniversaries, not only to the birthdays, not only to the adventure folks, but let's go ahead and cheers to the journey, everyone. To the journey. Cheers. Doing a family hike. What is this called? Lime kiln. Lime kiln in Cottonwood, Arizona. Parker to the right. Parker's a horse. You'll see when I flip them. Three minutes I got to flip somebody's phone. Is that your timer? Yeah. Ooh, we have a little sunset. Actually. Yeah, we sure do. This For is the nicest day it's been like 60 evening. today. The creation, it's speaking to me. Beautifully cooked, crisscross burgers with jack cheese. Pepper jack. Got a big Trader Joe's haul. I went to Safeway after for just a couple more things, but whoa, it is Sunday right now, and that was like my personal Trader Joe's nightmare. It was so packed, you like couldn't even walk around people. But anyways, I got some stuff for the week. I'm gonna try to really not eat out this week because I just want to eat healthy. I just and I'm just like craving healthy food and cooking at home. So out there, salmon burgers and also whatever I don't eat, I'll just leave here because they'll be back and I can like freeze it and stuff. So salmon burgers, sriracha tofu, which I haven't had, I haven't had tofu in so long. Garlic hummus and carrots, one of their pre-made like chili soups. Okay, this is weirdly good for like, I mean, it satisfies my sweet craving at night. Sharp cheddar, three Greek yogurts, hard boiled eggs. They, they were sold out of all eggs. I mean, I feel like they have been egg shortage in America. Turkey breasts for lunches and I got mustard. So I didn't know if they had it. And then grilled chicken. I always get these like ginger shots, turmeric shots, some wherever I am, like some brand. Crunchy slaw salad, this salad. I love the gnocchi, the cauliflower gnocchi. Don't follow the instructions on the back though. Just like put it in the pan, no water. And I add like garlic and stuff. The Japanese style fried rice is where it's at. If you're going to Trader Joe's and you haven't tried this, you gotta get this one. It's flavored with something different and it's so good. Blueberries, these are my favorite carb balanced tortillas. I have that cheddar cheese, so I figured if I'm like starving, I could do like a chicken quesadilla or something quick. But I really got a lot of salads here. Got another Southwest chopped salad, carrots for the hummus. This is Safeway spinach. And then Safeway was having like a deal where if you got three of these fruits, they were like majorly on sale. I haven't tried this before. It's 
hydrating lemon water coconut pineapple flavor, I don't know. These buy things are really good. And then these are also really nice because it's coconut water, so it's like super hydrating and I usually mix it with something else or just like dilute it with water because it's really sweet. But this is good for hydration and this one is flavored. It's like the pineapple flavor. So that is everything I got. I also got some tuna, but <laughs> as I'm tripping over chairs, that's everything I got from TJ's and Safeway. I might as well give you a little update on the one I brought because I definitely know what I think of this by now. So this is the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Foam. I think they make a liquid gold mousse version and I love the Bondi Sands Arrow, so I wanted to try this. I have like very mixed thoughts on this. I don't think the color is most flattering. Like on my skin tone, if you have fair skin, I think it pulls a little too orange. And I saw a comment on one of my past videos being like, you look orange. And yeah, I'm, I'm constantly testing tanners. I do think this color though does look a little orange. In real life, I don't think it's as bad. Definitely doesn't have an olive undertone, I would say. Things I like are that it dries fast. I will say though, it develops slowly. Like I put this on at night and then I have to wait basically an entire day to shower it, like to rinse it off if you really wanna get the most out of the color. It looks really nice and even on my chest, which is hard to find. Usually that doesn't happen. So I like that. I like that it actually like sticks to my chest. Those are pros, but the color for me is a no. It also looks a little streaky on my legs, I've noticed. So this isn't one that I am gonna be repurchasing. I like it enough to where like, I'm gonna use it up. I probably have like two or three more uses out of this, but it's not one that I'm like recommending that you go buy or anything. Random thought as I'm trying to um, prop this phone up. Don't you think it's 2023? Don't you think all of the new cars should have like a built-in phone mount kind of thing? Makes sense. But I'm gonna end off this Arizona vlog here because I actually already started filming another Arizona vlog hence the new nails, which you'll see. All my vlogs are their combo footage, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Also a reminder that you can get 30% off your first order on Thrive Market, plus a free gift valued at up to $60 with the link down below in the description box. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.